Uh, welcome back from that teacher talking about Nigeria and the United States uh, bilateral ties. Well, moving on now, the mobile app industry in Nigeria, like I said before, has seen tremendous growth over the last decade with increase in smartphone and internet penetration. Apps have become an integral part of daily life for many Nigerians. The potential for innovation and revenue in the Nigerian app economy makes it an attractive prospect for developers, entrepreneurs and investors alike. My guest is the CEO of Mabila Media and the convener of TechSwitch, the next best thing to happen in the tech world, if I must say. Uh, let's make welcome Inans Isa. Many thanks for joining us on Business yeah. Insights on Thank Plus TV. Thank you so much, there. Justin. It's a pleasure to be on Plus All right, TV. let's talk about, uh, you know, technology and um, its um, usefulness. Uh, it cannot be overemphasized. And uh, lately, it has become like um, an integral part of our everyday lives. And um, for most businesses uh, who are yet to actually uh, harness all that technology takes, uh, what would you say is happening to them? Um, first of all, when we go deep into technology, let me just look at the perspectives of technology. Mm. Um, you dive back to um, the first industrial revolution, second industrial revolution. That's where the word, the acronym came from, from westernization. I okay. look about the third industrial revolution, which is the digital age, the computer age. Where does it erupt from? We're looking at Asia. Mm. Where was India? Where was China? These are people who have focus. There's a trend. It's like a paradigm shift. Mm. And the continents are really planning for the next future or what they're going to do. Mm -hmm. But when you come back to Africa, you ask ourselves, what are we doing in terms of technology? Mm -hmm. In technology, we are the bronze level. Mm -hmm. If you want to rate Africa, we are on the bronze level. We have not even gotten to the slaver, the gold, or the platinum levels. Mm -hmm. And we are still consumers. That's mm -hmm. more painful thing. Then you look inward again. Africa itself has the manpower. Africa has the brain power. Africa has the resources. Africa is the biggest global market mm -hmm. in terms of technology. But we are doing nothing. So, so what is actually stopping us from actually getting to our full potential? Yes, the, uh, I will not really look at the government because we have a challenge with the government making environment policies that will drive tech, the growth of technology in this country. Mm -hmm. But inwardly, we want to look at, or I want to tell you that the future is for the skillful. Technology is all about being so skillful, translating your knowledge into a finished product. So um, when you look back to Africa, we are consumers, like I said. We believe in the westernization. We're not able to look inward mm -hmm. to develop. The daily challenges are part of technologies. There are not those challenges that will become a setback for you to just mm -hmm. fold your hands and wait for someone. There are opportunities for mm -hmm. us to grow. So when we build these challenges to become uh, solutions, you see mm -hmm. that we are ahead of the tax. So African business, for me, they have not really gone far. Mm -hmm. So, okay, but you know, for, to some people, when you talk about challenges, what they see are actually opportunities and even solutions to those challenges. It, it depends on how you see it, um, if um, a glass is um, half empty or half full. You know, but the thing is that, fine, there are uh, challenges, and of course, uh, we have, like you said, the manpower, the brainpower, and um, of course, all the wherewithal to meet uh, these um, challenges uh, with um, tailor-made um, solutions. Because if you ask me, uh, the fintech industry is actually uh, moving or spiraling very fast in Nigeria. One would, the, would have thought that uh, with the rate of internet penetration that um, uh, would have moved from the, like you said, the bronze now to the platinum level. Is it a thing of um, government uh, policies or the thing of uh, we, we are not really taking um, internet to the level that it should be or what exactly are the core challenges? Yeah, um, the core challenges in Africa, like I said, one is policy, mm. and two, it's your drive. What's okay. the future? What do you have? What, what do you plan for mm. as an enterprise or as a company? You have your focus, you have your goals and your milestones where you want to reach. Mm. But the policy here, it's not that uh, contributive because the, policy, the policies are supposed to be made open. Okay. You know, like um, when you look at solar apps, you see that the content we view here mm. on the social media differs from the one you see in China, in America and stuff. The African system is just opened. We don't have policy that guides and checkmates productive mm -hmm. certain kind of education or where people will see and they will be challenged mm -hmm. so to move. So um, when you come to the second aspect of it, it's self-driven. Mm -hmm. You know, we should be self-driven. Mm -hmm. We should be self-innovative on what we want to do. You see, Africa, we don't have anything. Like you just said, yes, there's no doubt when you come to the rating inwardly, we will say the financial, the fintech industry mm -hmm. and the e-commerce, they are doing pretty much yes, what happens are. to the others. Mm -hmm. In the global rating, where are we? Mm -hmm. 
And when we are the, in Africa, when it comes to the countries of Africa and mm. Nigeria, we are uh, the largest continent. We have a lot of resources and the manpower and the market base in Africa. Mm. But when it comes to internet use mm. in Africa, you will see Egypt okay. is rated high. Where is the position of Nigeria? Mm. We're not taking our place. We're supposed to be the giant of Africa. Yeah, we're supposed to be the giant of Africa. Yeah. But the other way around, we are not really maximizing the potentials of social media. We're not maximizing the potentials of technology. Mm. We are not innovating to dominate. We are only innovating inwardly. Okay. And worstly, we're not even promoting made in Nigeria. Okay, so let's uh, take it one step further. Now, in my intro, I talked about how um, the apps uh, industry is actually uh, moving at um, a very momentous um, speed, and um, Nigerians too are actually appreciating the f uh, the fact that uh, you can actually go to your your phones and Play Store or your iOS device, and uh, you can actually download any of these apps. Different kinds of apps, aside from the ones we use for social media, for e-commerce, uh, people even use uh, for other purposes, or even you know, to transact uh, for banking um, activities, for technology, for different stuff, really. You know, so tell me, really, uh, how well we are doing as a country. In my head, I feel that uh, there are several apps, even locally made apps here in Nigeria, that people are even yet to identify with. Yeah, that is the challenge. Local for app that people are yet to uh, are yet to identify or are people to put into use. At least um, there are several challenges that are really the developers are facing. There are creative people mm. in Nigeria that mm. are doing pretty well. I've seen a lot of them, but I don't just don't want to mention them. And that okay. is the primary reason why TechSwitch okay. is being vetted. Mm. And in the event of TechSwitch, you get to see them financial challenge, mm. which we call it the seed capital to thrive okay. through value, value and uh, 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 investment platform. Mm. How do you want to see that? When you go to the Play Store or the Apple Play Store, you only see the fintech industries, mm. their apps. That's what you can do. But I know I've been able to even look for apps. For instance, uh, sometimes when I get to work from home and I need to do, uh, for instance, scroll message on this, and I'm actually typing uh, on small case as an app I could use that can just change from small, small uh, uh, lower case to upper case. It's as little as that. You know, almost practically anything you can do with different kinds of apps. Yeah, it's very, very difficult for you to see all that apps mm. version in the Play Store mm. uh, because they have not met that they have not met the criteria okay. on the Play Store. Mm. If they met the criteria on the Play Store, mm. it's not just you developing app. Mm. There are processes. Mm. You have to redefine the process because technology is a changing, it's an ever-changing thing. Okay. It depends on the solution you really want to provide. Uh, but th th this uh, getting onto this um, um, play, uh, the Play Store, the iOS, um, um, you know, store and every other thing. Does it really take so much? Because, for instance, uh, I know that uh, what people use lately are all sorts of um, loan apps, and um, if uh, they are like so, 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 so much, so why does it really take? Uh, it, uh, why, why is it really hard for all those app developers to bring on their own tailor-made um, apps so for Nigerians to also enjoy? Because if all those, I don't know, is it like um, the criteria are just too cumbersome or, or is it like they need to use so much money before they can get on um, the app stores? Um, one thing I would say as a, as a developer we're experiencing mm -hmm. so much scared because when they look at the social app, the yeah. social chatting app, yeah. they, uh, they don't see the reason why they'll be able to replicate okay. a prototype that will match up with Facebook, Instagram, and yeah. others. Yeah. They only see um, the business aspect of the fintech app okay. and e-commerce app yeah. so that they'll be able to connect mm. with other uh, 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 products within the society. Mm. But we are breaking that norms now. Oh. And that is why we, we, um, we went into five years research looking mm -hmm. at the trend of technologies and mm. things that we needed to do. Right. We need to compete with the okay. global stage. All right, it's still Business Insights on PLUS TV Africa. I still have um, Inansa Issa with me here in the studios. I'll take a very short break. We'll come back and talk about tech switch. It's like an, an innovation that's happened to the world of technology, uh, like um, a hub for um, app developers, entrepreneurs, and uh, you know, exhibitors. It's really happening. I think it's big. It's something we need to talk about in a moment um, after uh, we return. Stay with us. All right, welcome back. It's still Business Insight and Plus TV Africa. Inans is, uh, is my guest. Uh, he is the convener of um, TechSwitch. Let's talk about TechSwitch right now. It's uh, a very wonderful thing uh, that is really happening in the app space. You know, so what exactly does it really entail? Um, so TechSwitch, um, it's also an acronym for Switch to Africa. 
Mm. You see, we want to promote made in Africa. Mm. We want to put Africa on the global map when yes. it comes to technology. Yeah. So TechSuite itself, it's a convergence center for industrial leading professionals, okay. um, experts, software developers, decision yeah. makers, forward thinkers, and enterprising entrepreneurs providing global solution okay. for tomorrow's Africa. Yeah. So if you are a tech uh, innovators or inventors and you're a software developer, you're welcome to that community for us to chart the future forward. And in text, which we focus on uh, four basic things. One, training. We want to impact Nigerians and Africans. It's not just only a Nigerian thing. Mm -hmm. It's cut across Africa. Mm -hmm. We have a forum where uh, tech and software developers across Africa, we converge and we discuss the future of Africa. Mm -hmm. So two, we also look at uh, seed capital, funding mm. and investment mm. for upcoming um, app developers and techies in the country. So for instance, uh, if I was um, a developer and I want to like um, embrace um, all the opportunities, that would be given seed capital? Or what? Yes, of course. <laughs> when you come, first of all, yeah. uh, we'll look at your project, yeah. we'll redefine your project, we'll help you to focus. We're not taking charge of it. Okay. We're becoming a partner so that we want your base, you want your product to grow. We want it to become a product, not mm. just an idea. Mm. But people have a beautiful idea but it has not been translated into a product okay. or into a brand for now mm. so we'll help you to do that mm. then we'll look at it within ourselves and look at a seed capital mm. seed capital can be what will take you to the play store okay. seed capital can be some of those resourceful okay. uh, items you need to put those uh, up into a good shape mm. to become a solution and people will be able to assess it um, seed capital can become maybe you need a visibility research mm. you want to print a flyers you want to go to various locations to test that app to see okay. if it it fits in mm. or what could be the problem does the database has problem is it robust mm. or how many people it can take what about the traffic aspect so those mm. are things we look at them give you right. then the fourth um, the third one will look at uh, setting up a small scale manufacturing uh, uh, app development center mm. and also the hardware Okay. Hardware manufacturing center because we have few persons in Ghana working right now mm -hmm. who is doing the hardware the okay. motherboard. The third one is the market space. It's That's not actually easy. the fourth one. Okay. Yes, the fourth <laughs> one. The fourth one, sorry, is the market space okay. where we bring all these apps together. We launch it in the form of event like what we're doing now in Tech Switch. Okay, I don't want to go into all of that, so we don't even start marketing um, you guys <laughs> on air. But then again, now let's as we round off the show now, let's talk about um, the. Uh, well, I say uh, the opportunities or just the prospect rather, just how far do you see uh, the app industry and um, in Nigeria in the next um, five years? Very quickly as you want. Yeah, in the next five years, if we have focus, mm. if we have focus, we will do pretty well. Yeah. Because in Nigeria here, um, it's very easy for us to adapt to systems. So you don't need to tell anybody when a new technology comes, one or two persons we are used, it's easy to go. Mm. So in the next five years, if we are focused, driven focus mm. of what we want to do, we will dominate. All right, thank you so much, Inans. You couldn't have said it um, better. That's um, the size of the show. But then again, it's always um, fun to talk about technology and, of course, how it can actually impact on businesses and, of course, economic growth. We do appreciate your time on the show. Thank you so much. All right, time is never your friend when you are having fun, when you're talking about uh, techie and uh, business-related stuff. But we just have to go business inside to return to your screen same time tomorrow. My name is Justin Akadoni. Many thanks for being a part of the show. Bye for now. <laughs>